know. Well, they, they're showing you how people know. Them. So they, they know who they are. That they're starting to wake up and see who they are. Right. By the powers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right. You know? Not by the power of, of Egypt, of Ra. No. Not by the power of, of Emotel. I mean, uh, not Emotel, but uh, you know, you're not, my brother. not by the. I don't. Not, not by. Not by that. Huh? Well, if you want to learn, you want to learn what you're doing. I'll tell you this, I'm a quote. I'll say that. Bro. Yeah, just know that you are the real Jew of the Bible. The Lord looks just like you, bro. Without the shade of head. Yeah, without the shade of head. But you know, we always tell our people that to give them what? Inspiration and hope, because they need every bit of inspiration and hope here, here in America as as much as they could get, man, before the how about shooting out shot come and destroy this place, man. You know? You know? So anything we can tell them to uplift them, to edify, to exhort our people, that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to lie to them, but we're going to tell them the truth to uplift their spirit, to let them know that what? There's hope here in America for them, that what? That there is a life, and the Lord is coming to deliver them. You know what I'm saying? By death or the chariot. Either way it goes, you're still going to come back in the land of Israel as an Israelite, ruling over these heathens. Now the position you get in Israel is up to you. But, truth be told, according to the scriptures, and what Yahweh by Shem Yahushai has promised us, all Israel will be saved. Eventually. Whether it's death uh, on this side or by the chariots. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about, is teaching our people. Yeah. Hey bro. You're an Israelite, man. It's going to be all right. Say, you're an Israelite. It's going to be all right, man. The struggle almost over, bro. Okay, that's, that's what you see every day. Your everyday life. You see Jake that with the, that, that look on their face like, when is this going to be over? Right, you man. Know? They, they're looking for that end time, man. Right? You don't even realize what the end time is going to be. It's just over, you know? Right. But that's that's why the most high said prophets out here, you know, to the streets and to the highways and byways, you know, to the four corners of the earth, to teach our people that, hey, that the Most High is coming back for you. He loves you. Come back to these lost angels commandments. Because if not, the latter is not a good thing, man. It's, it's a bad thing, you know? The Most High is going to destroy this place. If he ain't going to destroy this place, he going to make slaves out of it, man. You know? And then when you do come back, y'all going to be so so humble, and y'all going to wish that y'all did come to this, man. Y'all going to see the prophets of the Lord and, and put y'all head down when you see us in the new kingdom, man. That's because y'all right. knew. At this time, the Most High ain't going to take, take our memory from us, man. We going to remember these days. There's going to be stories about America falling, you know? That quick precept right quick. This uh First Thessalonians chapter five verse uh eight. It said, But let us No, six. No, I'm starting at five. No, I'm starting four. No, I'm starting three. <laughs> no, I'm starting two. <laughs> nah, get in that one. Nah. Uh, it, it's, so, it's so much meat, man, you know. Uh, no, I'm gonna start at one. Cause. Forget it. Might as well start at one, you know. Cause. Hey, there's so much meat in it, man, you know. <laughs> hey, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, who is the brethren? That's you Israelites. Let's prove that right quick so you get an understanding. This is Romans chapter 10. No, Romans chapter 9, uh, verse 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. Well, we're going to say Christ because we got heathens around. I say the truth in Christ. We know him as Yahweh Shai, his Hebrew name. But see, man, the body of Yahweh Shai, the Lord, I always send an example. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is why our people are destroyed. You see this? Now, this is the Latin tribe. This is the northern kingdom of Israel. They just got out of a limo for what? A wedge. Now they're about to walk down the street here in Indianapolis to go celebrate this wedding according to what? The American ideology and philosophy here in America of how a wedding is supposed to be here in America. But not according to the scriptures or the Bible. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why the scripture say, Ephraim, uh, what is that? Ephraim is joined unto idols, let them alone. Because why? Ephraim loved to worship what? Uh, Santa Maria. You know what I'm saying? And Guadalupe. Those are f fake idols, are fake gods. But those are our people down there. Those are Israelites. They from the northern tribe, but they worshiping idols. You see what I'm saying? The Lord always an example. Now. They say that uh, they say that all of Israel had broken the laws of the Most High, which wasn't true. You know, right. all all of Israel did, but because a few did, we all had to go, had to get punished. You know. Well, actually, technicality, we all did break the laws because we was all destroyed in that flood. Yeah. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? So we had to do something wicked for the Lord to destroy us in that flood because. That was only what? Uh, that was Noah, his three sons, and their wives. That was what, about eight souls? Seven or eight souls left alive. You know? See? So we all went off, but at the same time, the Lord restored unto his men what? Righteousness. Because in order to be a perfect judge or a ruler, you have to know both sides of the coin. And that's what we learn here in America is righteousness and, and wickedness why so we be able to judge these other planets better when we get into the kingdom you see what I'm saying because the best teacher is what experience God. God. I can't judge nobody off of drugs if I ain't never experienced drugs or had it or had the tragedy in my own family you know? just going off of uh, statistics what people say in a book Ain't, ain't, don't mean nothing. Now going back to 1 Thessalonians 5, I'm going to start at 1 again. It said, but of the times and seasons, brethren. Now we're proving who the brethren is. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, meaning in my mind. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ, meaning he wished he could take on the curse of the Lord and down the cross himself. For my brethren, see, there it goes, the brethren that we read in 1 Thessalonians, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, you know, your kinsmen, your kin people, according to the flesh, meaning the bloodline, your lineage, who are Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, who are Israelites? To who pertaineth the adoption, the adoption what? Back to the Heavenly Father by our big brother, who the world called Jesus Christ, but in the Hebrew his name is Jehoshaphat. And the glory, what is the glory? The kingdom. And the covenant, which is what? The law, statute, commandments of the Bible. And the giving of the law. And the service of the Most High. And the promises. What is the promises? That we're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven when the Lord comes and destroy America. That's our promises. That we're going to be sitting on, on thrones judging what? The 12 tribes of Israel and the other heathen nations. That's our promises. To be what? Join heirs with Yahweh Shai. See what I'm saying? Everything he gonna get, we gonna get. That's our promise. Now going back to 1 Thessalonians 5, so we prove who the brethren was. It says, you got any questions, man? You know where your father come from? You know where your father's from? His father and his father? Huh? Well, that, that's okay. We're here to teach. That's why I'm asking. Do you know where your father's from or his father? Okay. No, no, this is just a, a general question. Do you know where your father come from? What his lineage is? Where his people come from? His father and his father's father come from? Are they like 
But the lineage goes back to Negro, Latino, or, or uh, North American Indian. Yes, you come from Israel. I well, well, we all come from Israel, you know what I'm saying? But I want to ask them, what's your lineage? Because if you're, if you're Israelite, let's say, let's say your father's a North American Indian, that'll make you from the tribe of Gad. That would mean what? You're an Israelite, and the Lord is coming back to save you. But if you're of the... I'm an Irish American. Oh, yo, yo, so your, on your father's side is Irish? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, good. Irish was ruled for a thousand years by people known as what? The Moors. You ever heard of the Moors? The Moors are so-called Negroes that ruled Ireland and Scotland for a thousand years. King James ruled uh, Ireland and Scotland. You know what I'm saying? He was the last ruler of Scotland. This is what he looked like. That's King James. Here's him without his hat. So-called Negroes. See what I'm saying? Now, this is where you get, see, Ibernia, which is Hebrew, that's another word for what? Ireland. See what I'm saying? So, if your father's Irish, well, guess what? He's a so-called Negro, Jamaican, or Haitian. So, he, that means what? He's an Israelite. That means what? You're an Israelite. Because you're, it's not about the color of your skin. If your father, which is a so-called Negro, sleep with a white woman, that baby gonna come out what? Light. And if that baby sleep with another white woman, then that baby gonna come out way lighter than he is. And it goes on down to generation after generation till they come out looking like you. See what I'm saying? Because you even have dark skinned people that you may think of Negro, but really Edomite, some called white man. See what I'm saying? But if you're, but since your father's Irish, you might be Israelite, that means the Lord is coming to save you. You better pray that you're not. Uh, the heathen nation, the, uh, the Edomites, the so-called white man, the Elamites, which are the Indians, you know, uh, the Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs, the, the Chinese, which are Moab, Japanese, Ammon, you know, uh, Ham, which is the Africans. You better pray, pray that you're not of those nations. You better pray that you're an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is coming back soon to destroy America and other places in the world because of his wickedness. See what I'm saying? We're going... We, we, we teach it now about idol worship and around Indianapolis alone, downtown, there's a whole bunch of idols, false gods. That's why the Lord is coming back to destroy this place because of the, the idol worship and then homosexuality and all other wicked laws. That's all you see. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. More stuff in the world. That's all you see. See? Yeah. And it vexes you. It it's makes you angry, man. man. You know, every time you see a man in a woman's skirt, with a wig on, acting like a woman, that makes you angry, man. You know? Because it ain't supposed to be like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But see, this is the same thing that went on in Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why this place is known as Sodom and Gomorrah also. The same spirit that back in the day. My buddy, my buddy, he's an Indian. He says, see? He says the United States is the war in the South. He yeah, calls it that. See? Yeah. Oh, you good? You good? Yeah, of course. And see, the Bible calls America what? The Great Horn. That sits on the, the, scar, the scarlet color beach. See what I'm saying? Because why? America. I noticed, they even, I noticed nowadays they even design the women's clothes to make them look like a See? Oh, yeah. All they want to make them. See? All I know. Yep. You can't tell nowadays between a man and a woman. You walk around some people like, man, what is that? No. They don't they don't make no nothing to make a man look like he's that way. See? It, it ain't for it ain't for the man no more. It's all about the worship of a woman. That's what it's all about. That's why they try to feminize as many men as they can here in America. To take away what? The masculinity and make everybody feminine. That's why they put fluoride in the water and uh it was something else they put in the water, estrogen. They put yeah. estrogen in the floor line in your tap water. You try to what? Make the man feel it. See what I'm saying? That way you see a lot of kids growing up, they have breasts. Because of estrogen. They, they, they had uh, some, right, some recall on the medicine. Oh, you too, man. Uh, no, you didn't do like, bro. They had a recall on the medicine that was giving boys breasts. See? And then they was lactating that yep. day, you know? <laughs> that just showed you how wicked these people are, you know? They, they, they even know the fact that, that these things are doing this to your kids. They're still telling you to do this. 
like, I went to the doctor's office, but I think sometime last week for my son or whatever. They was like, well, he needs such and such shot.